hope you enjoyed that little video tease and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System and the start of my video coverage for the Bristol Hi-Fi Show 2020. In this video, I'm with Paul Morrison from ISO Acoustics, and he is going to tell us a little bit about their products and their product line, and then do an A-B demonstration showing the effectiveness of their Gaia 2 speaker isolators. But before we start, I need to thank my video sponsors, GIK Acoustics, Isotech Systems, and ISO Acoustics. There are lots more Bristol Show videos on their way, plus a hell of a lot more videos in my YouTube channel. If you wanna go and check them out, please do. If you enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, take care. Hi, welcome to the Bristol Hi-Fi Show 2020. My name is Paul and I'm the Director of Sales and Distribution for ISO Acoustics. What we're doing here is we're doing an A-B demo. We've got two pairs of identical Focal Canta 2 speakers. The gray pair has our Gaia 2 isolators installed on them, where the blue pair has the manufacturer included spikes. And we're just going to AB back and forth so you can hear the difference that the isoacoustics stands make. We've got the Nova Fidelity X45 streamer, and then we've got a benchmark amp, DAC, and preamp for the source. So when the green light comes on, we're on the isolators, and then when the light's off, we're on the spikes. So just to explain, well, that's basically like a switching unit that's set up, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. So this is just everything runs through the switch, so it's the same source, same signal going through the whole system, and we're just aping back and forth at the speaker level. And obviously the wind outside is nothing to do with the system, is it? The wind outside <laughs> is, just, uh, is just a bonus. <laughs>
basically I've come here to see you at every show pretty much mm -hmm. for a number of years and it seems like every time I come in this demo gets more and more impressive. Thank so you, you very much. I assume you've not changed the technology in the guys, have you? No, no, everything's the same. Just uh, the bigger the speakers, the bigger the difference. Uh, what we've done here is we've gone up a level. We're now using the Focal Canta 2s, whereas in the past we've used the, uh, the Aria, the 926, the 936. So this is the next level up. And, uh, and as I said, the bigger the system, the bigger the difference. So what is the technology and how do the guys work? So the way all of our products work is we create a high degree of isolation. There's isolator in the, two isolators with a connector in the middle. So it works along the same premise as like a floating floor where you have two parts that are independent of one another with a connector in the middle. And the guys are designed to manage the energy of the speaker and they keep that energy in alignment with the listening position. We don't allow the speaker to oscillate around. We keep everything in alignment with the listening position. So what happens is when you put your speaker on the ground or on spikes or on any hard surface, speakers have a secondary reflection that comes back up into the cabinet. And we perceive that as smear. And when you have dissimilar information on two channels, you naturally have a very wide stereo image. But as soon as you introduce that smear, any artifacts that are common in the two channels are perceived to be in the middle. So it causes that sound stage to collapse. So that's why when we flip from the spikes onto the isolators, that sound stage opens up. It becomes wider, it becomes three-dimensional. Yeah, there's a real a noticeable difference, I think, in terms of just how, for me, it was without the spikes, the sound was becoming very soft, mm -hmm. and it was lacking, lacking clarity, lacking purpose. Mm -hmm. As soon as it goes on the guys, everything's clear, it's more solid, it's more three-dimensional, exactly. it's much more engaging and enjoyable to listen to. So we have the, uh, the Gaia 1, 2, and 3, uh, which are designed for speakers up to uh, 100 kilos. The Gaia 3 will hold a 32 kilo speaker. The Gaia 2 will hold a 54 kilo speaker. And the Gaia 1 will hold a 100 kilo speaker. And then we have the Gaia Titan series, which goes all the way up to 280 kilos. So the Gaia Titan Theus will hold a 145 kilo speaker. The Titan Rhea will hold a 190 kilo speaker. And the Gaia Titan Kronos will hold a 280 kilo speaker. So you can imagine the difference yeah. that you would get in an A-B demo with that. So in terms of those types of speakers, what speakers do you have in mind for those? I know there's loads out there, so you can't name them all. But yeah, so uh, people with uh, the big Focal uh, Utopias, uh, the big Wilson speakers, Magico, um, even, even brands like uh, Martin Logan, Kef Muons, uh, they've all got... Uh, you know, a, a big uh, speaker that works well with the Titans. This is the Gaia series that we mentioned before, from all the way from the Gaia 3, all the way up to the Gaia Titan Kronos. So again, we go from a 32 kilo speaker, all the way up to a 280 kilo speaker. The new product that we're showing here is our Delos, and specifically the Walnut version, which is gonna be available in Europe uh, at the beginning of March. The Delos is designed for turntables, components, amplifiers, CD players, and what it is, is it's a combination of a wood, solid wood block with our isolators built into it. So you get the combination of the mass of the wood with our patented isolation technology. So this will allow you to use things like turntables, uh, even components, and you, you'll get the, the full benefit of, uh, of the isolation. The other thing we've got is the Aureas for components. Uh, and these are designed, you can put these uh, instead of your the feet that come with your, uh, your components. There's four different models depending on the weight. So they go start all the way from up to a two kilo, all the way up to 14 kilos. And you, the idea is you put three or four of them or however you need to get to the, uh, to the weight you need. Uh, I always recommend to leave at least a 10% buffer uh, in the before you get to the maximum weight, just to, just to keep uh, well within the performance curve. So those products are designed for amplifiers and DACs and yeah. just general hi-fi components. Exactly, yeah? exactly. So they're sold individually, and you put three or four of them under your components. And, and I always tell people with uh, with amplifiers and such, I, I want to ideally be connected to the chassis. So my first preference is always to remove the feet entirely and put the Aureas. In, ex in place of the feet. If that's not possible, put the Aureas around the feet but connect it to the chassis. And then it, again, if those aren't possible, then put them underneath the feet would be my third yeah. choice. Yeah, the last product we have here is the, uh, is the Aperta series. And this has been out since uh, 2016. And it's designed for bookshelf speakers, for stand-mounted speakers, 
and it offers six and a half degrees of tilt uh, to help position your speakers, get them in that optimal listening position. So there's a few different sizes. There's the Aperita, Aperita 200, and Aperita 300. Um, you know, for the to cover the full range of uh, a bookshelf or, or stand mounted speakers, and and the Aperta 300 is great for center channel speakers as well. Just something we was discussing before we started making the video was the ISO acoustics pedigree and history within the pro audio mm -hmm. sector. And I'm not sure if people would necessarily know that, Paul. So yeah, so we started in 2012 in the pro audio segment. We have a whole different uh, line of products for the pro market, and uh, and we're in all the major recording studios around the world. We have some big Grammy uh, winning producers uh, using our stuff, um, some big artists that are using them as well, and, uh, and are very happy with it. And then, you know, we've gradually progressed into the, into the home audio market as well, and, uh, and are continuing to, to show just the, how good the technology is and, and products that we make. I'll put one more thing just to mention is because we just again discussed this before we went on camera was the F1 jack that I filmed for you guys at Munich yeah. because yeah. people have sent me questions before and have asked me questions kind of how, how do I install the guys on, on big speakers and yeah. I said some, well, the F1 jack seem like a great product. Yeah the F1 jack is great for the large titans under your speakers because you know when you get to a speaker you know that's 200 kilos let's face it we're not flipping that upside down <laughs> to uh, to install the guys so the F1 jack works very much the same as uh, as the F1 jacks in a race car, is you just put it underneath, you bring it to the ground, it, it lifts the speaker up so you can screw in the guys, you bring it back down, you go around to the other side, and you do it again, and it just makes it just makes installing the guys very simple. Thanks, Tom. Well, look, Paul, thanks very much for your time. Thanks for this private demo. Really appreciate it. Really Thank enjoyed you. it. Your products impress me every single time, mate. Thank so. you. I love it when you come by. So <laughs> I'm happy to uh, happy to do a video with you. Cool. Thanks, Paul. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks.